The Wedding at Cana. In a little town called Cana, so very long ago, a loving couple planned to wed. Their hearts were all aglow. A great big feast would then be held so they could celebrate. Each goblet would be filled with wine, good food on every plate. Some guests would stay for many days or even a whole week. But if the food or wine ran out, the feast would be quite bleak. Now Jesus was invited there, a special guest, it's true. His mother Mary came to him and his disciples too. All their good friends and relatives were having so much fun, when all at once the wine was gone. Alas, what could be done? The bride and groom would be upset and quite embarrassed too, if they could not provide the wine to last the whole week through. When Jesus' mother noticed this, she went to tell her son, the wine is gone. The wine is gone, she said to him, and he'd know what could be done. Now mother, Jesus replied, now mother, my time is not yet here. My time is not yet here. But Mary knew that he would help. Of that she had no fear. She called the servants and she said, do what he tells you to. Do what he tells you to. She pointed to her son and watched to see what they would do. Soon, Jesus spied some water jars lined up against the wall. They were quite large and made of stone, and there were six in all. Put the water in these jars, he said. And put water in these jars. They filled them to the brim. Go find the master of the feast and give a taste to him. Go find the master of the feast and give a taste to him. The master took a sip and cried, It's great! It's really fine! It's great! It's really fine! The water that was in the jars had been turned into wine. The servants' faces looked surprised. They thought, How can this be? The master of the feast declared, Please bring the groom to me. Please bring the groom to me. When the groom came, the master said, The best wine should come first. The best wine should come first. But you have saved the best to last. But you have saved the best to last. When the guests have quenched their thirst. When the guests have quenched their thirst. The servants knew what Jesus did. They were amazed, it's true. As his disciples watched in awe, their faith in Jesus grew. A miracle, his first on earth, told here in this story. A sign of Jesus' mighty power shows his, us his great glory. Dear God, please help you as, we, as you help them and carry it up for us each day. Please give us all things we need. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Dear God, help us as you help them and care for us each day. Please give us all the things we need. In Jesus' name we pray.